Hi guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, we're going to be unboxing a Thread Up 15 piece mixed jewelry box. And this box is from Phoenix, Arizona. Okay guys, let's dive in. And if this is indeed your first time here, my name is Christine and my channel's called Girlio. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay, and I do direct sales through YouTube. So if you see anything you like in these videos, please feel free to email me at girlyorocks at gmail.com, and we can definitely work something out. Okay, guys, let's open this up. So this is first impressions. Everything thrown in the box, like so. So Arizona usually doesn't provide any padding in their boxes, so we'll see what we find in here. I'll just grab everything and put them on the table here. So I hope everyone is doing well. Merry Christmas to all that celebrate. Happy holidays to all. And so these boxes cost about $48 plus shipping and handling. They come out to, and tax, they come out to about 50 something dollars for me. Okay guys, this is first impressions. Looks very promising. I'll move everything off to the side and I will grab the first piece which is this Alex and Ani energy bracelet. And this is my first Alex and Ani bracelet in a box. So that's nice. It's made in America with love. And this one is embrace the power of positivity. That's really cool. That's neat. Very beautiful. It's beautiful green Rivoli here, and I'm not sure if this is a gemstone or glass, but that is gorgeous. And we have the little charms here. Pretty. Really like that a lot. Okay, so we have that very nice Alex and Ani bracelet. Next we have some pretty earrings. And these are by Sescabel. Sescabel? Very beautiful. They have a lot of movement. It's gorgeous rhinestones and pearl earrings. Gorgeous. And they're studded earrings like this. They're all linked together. They just have fabulous movement on this. Can you imagine yourself dancing and these moving around? Very beautiful. Pretty earrings. I've never heard of this brand before. Those are gorgeous. I love these a lot. So those are nice. Next we have some hoop earrings. And these are studs. Really beautiful gold tone and they have rhinestones here on the dangle and then a shiny dangle here. The beautiful champagne colored, peachy colored rhinestone there. And these are marked J. Crew. So these are J. Crew earrings. Very beautiful. I love these. And these measure about two inches almost. So very lovely. Beautiful J. Crew. These are beautiful, different. Like those a lot. So far so good, Arizona. Next we have some stud earrings. And these are really pretty. Wow. Beautiful color on these stones. Don't know if these are glass or stone. But I will test these later and see if they are anything. 
and these are not marked and they need a little bit of cleaning, but they are beautiful color. Gorgeous, sort of a, a light red color. Gorgeous. Love those. So we have those. Next we have a necklace that looks like it's a J. Crew. So let's see if it is. And the J. Crew tag. It has a little tag here that I need to remove. But it's a beautiful Rivoli necklace here. Gorgeous. And these Rivolis are black, shiny, faceted. Really beautiful. And let's get a measurement on this guy for you. This one measures in at around 16 inches with an extender of about two and a half inches. Really beautiful. J. Crew necklace. So we have that. Okay, nice. Next we have a ring. And this is a size six or nine. It's probably a size nine. Wow, that's stunning. Look at that guy. That's a sparkler for sure. The pink stone. And then we have all these rhinestones around. And this one is marked. I can't seem to make out the mark with my loop, but let me see if I can zoom in on the camera here. Maybe you guys can see what it says. I'm not really sure what that says. But it's a gorgeous ring. And I don't think it is sterling. I a size nine. And it is so we have this lovely ring okay so we have that that's nice we have something with a tag on it and it says Katie Loxton London and this is a really pretty necklace it has a family written on it and script see that and really pretty purple beads I wonder if these are amethyst and then it has Kitty Loxton on there there's this pole and adjustable very pretty and let's see um, so this was I don't know what the pricing here, $29, wholesale $13.18. It's a very pretty, lovely bracelet, new on card. And let's see how big this can accommodate for. So this can accommodate up to nine and three quarters. And it can go up to Pretty teeny tiny wrist. Coming up to a six inch or slightly smaller wrist. So very nice. Kitty Loxton bracelet. So we have that. Then we have some stud earrings. And these are a cubic zirconia again. Really beautiful. Square cut, cushion cut. Really sparkly, these guys. Wow, look at the sparkle on those. And these are marked 925. And so are the backs. But I'm gonna test because I think they don't always out 925. Yeah, this looks coppery, so I don't think this is sterling. 
thread up has been throwing in jewelry in these boxes that are not sterling, even though they are marked. So you should always test. Yeah, that is not sterling. So these are fakers, as Kristen D would say. They are still beautiful earrings. Gorgeous sparklers. So we have those. And we have a cuff bracelet here. And this one says she believed she could, so she did. It's very inspiring. It's brass and it's a cuff. Very cute and inspirational. I like that a lot. And this measures in at around seven and a quarter. So we have this bracelet, very nice. Love that. Okay, let's see what's in the sacks with the Avenue box. So there's this earring here, very beautiful. It looks almost like a Kendra Scott. However, this, oh, it says SK. Um, but there is only one of them. And they, there is definitely not another one in this box. So, unless we find it, um, we only have one earring here. So that's sad. And, uh, yeah, that's really sad. That's a beautiful earring. So we have one of those. So that's unfortunate. Let's keep going. Let's see what's next. Next we have this ring, and it's a real shiner of a ring. Look at that, guys. Wow, that's a stunning ring. Um, there is a mark on it. Um, it just says number 11. So I don't know if that's the size of the ring, but it seems like it's more like a size 4. So I'm not sure, but it's quite a statement maker. Let's get a measurement on this. Yeah, it's a really small ring. It's probably around a, let's say three and a half to three and a quarter. But that's an interesting ring. We have that. Okay, next we have a really chunky monkey here. It's gold tone. And this one is a J. Crew as well. And there's the lifesaver clasp. And wow, this is a really weighty, weighty piece here. And yeah, this is it, guys. It's really chunky collar, almost choker length. Really hefty chain necklace. Beautiful. So let's get a measurement on this. I'm gonna just take the full length of it for you. 19 inches around the neck. That is a real statement necklace right here. So we have that, J. Crew necklace, beautiful. So we have that. Okay, next we have necklace that looks like it has rhinestones and spikes. Let's see. Very pretty. Very shiny. We've got these little spike spikes coming off the rhinestones here. And these rhinestones are all individually pronged. This is the back of it. And there is no tag on this, but it's really pretty. I really like that a lot. And this measures in at 16 inches around the neck with a two inch extender. I really like that a lot, really rock and roll vibe there. So we have that. Okay, next we have a necklace here, and this one is Melanie Old. It's a really delicate chain here. And then we have these triangles. 
really pretty. Let's see. And there's this one triangle with these pave rhinestones. And these are, I don't know if they're glass or acrylic. It doesn't feel like it's cold to the touch. It could just be acrylic. We've got these little pendant, um, these little pennant flags sort of look to it. Really pretty. So let's take a measurement on this guy. This one measures in at 18 inches with a two inch extender. Very pretty. I like that a lot. And then we have, last but not least, a bangle. And this looks like druzy. I don't know if it's a faux druzy or not, but it's really pretty nonetheless. And this is marked and has a mark like so. M with an elephant in the middle and an E. So we'll need to look that up. That's quite interesting, really pretty. And it seems to be quite adjustable. It's brass, so it could accommodate probably smaller wrist to a larger. Really pretty. I'm um, going to take a measurement on this guy. So it's about seven and a quarter like so. We could probably go a little bit smaller to maybe like six and three quarters. But I think it can pretty it can go pretty large too. It definitely has a lot of um, movement to it. It can be adjusted quite easily. So but that's really pretty. Okay guys, um, and I did not find the other earring. So that's sad, but what did you think of this box? Let me know down below. Did you have any favorites? I think this box was pretty decent. Um, I liked all the J. Crew, But yeah, let me know what you thought of this box. What were your favorites if you had any? Just want to take this opportunity to thank you all for watching and for supporting my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to be notified of any new videos that I put out. And most of all, guys, I just want to wish you happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and be well.